people often ask us which vegetables are best to grow. The answer will depend on a number of factors, but the following three-step process will help you to make the right choices for your own garden. First, produce a shortlist by selecting the vegetables that suit the conditions you have in each area of your garden. If you're using our garden planner, check out the filter button at the left-hand side of the selection bar. This enables you to ask the garden planner to just show plants that match your requirements. For example, we can ask it to show us just plants that are easy to grow. This is perfect if you're a new gardener or can't commit much time to your garden. Or we can select several criteria at once, such as selecting herbs for a corner of the garden which are shade tolerant and can be planted in May in your location. You can also choose plants from a particular crop family, such as brassicas, that are often planted together so that you can place netting over them to prevent pests from eating the crop. Once you have your shortlist, the information boxes can show you what you need to do to prepare your soil and whether the plant has any special requirements, such as needing supports or protection from pests. Second, decide which crops will fit in the area you have. If you have a small garden, space will be at a premium and you'll probably want to grow high value vegetables such as tomatoes and climbing beans which produce a lot on each plant and would cost far more to buy at the grocery store. On the other hand, if your garden area is large, you may wish to concentrate on growing plants that need little maintenance and are easy to store such as potatoes or squash. In each case, our garden planner will show you just how many plants can be placed in the area. Hover over a row or block of plants to view the quantity, or drag the handles to adjust the area for the size of harvest you want. Third, narrow down your selection to vegetables that you really appreciate, your favourites that taste wonderful when freshly grown. For example, once picked, the sugars in sweet corn start to turn to starches, so there's nothing quite like the taste of garden-grown cobs picked just before eating. The same goes for fresh peas, which make a delicious healthy snack for kids. As home gardeners, we have access to many wonderful varieties that don't suit the requirements of supermarkets, and growing more than one type each year is a great way to experiment and learn what's best for you. By double-clicking any plant, and then clicking the plus button, you'll be able to browse varieties, complete with their catalogue descriptions to help you choose. Choosing the best crops to grow takes time. You need to consider the space you have, the soil and climate, your favourite vegetables and whether you want to concentrate on short-lived but tasty summer harvests or long-lasting storage crops. Are you going to grow crops that save a lot of money or ones that don't require much time? What about delicious new varieties that you can't buy in the shops? Having all the information you need at your fingertips makes it easier to plan the right crops for your garden. By following these three steps when browsing your favourite seed catalogue, you can quickly produce your shortlist and plan for a bountiful harvest.